again welcome to resolution let us discuss the following question the question says find the mean deviation about the mean for the data in exercises 9 and 10 this is the data given to us in question number 9 we have to find the mean deviation about the mean of this data let's now learn the steps which are involved in the calculation of mean deviation about mean of a continuous frequency distribution in the first step we have to obtain the midpoint of each class interval which is denoted by xi and this xi is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 and then we have to find the mean of the given data by using the formula x squared is equal to 1 by n into summation i goes from 1 to n fi xi where m is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n fi in the second step we have to find the deviation of each xi from x squared that is x1 minus x bar x2 minus x bar so on x and minus x bar in the third step we have to find the absolute value of each deviation that is drop the minus sign if it is there that is mod of x1 minus x bar mod of x2 minus x bar so on mod of x in minus x bar and then in the last step we have to find the mean of the absolute values of the deviation this mean is the mean deviation about mean that is mean deviation about mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i goes from 1 to n fi into mod of xi minus x bar where n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n fi always remember these steps so keeping all these steps in mind let's now begin with the solution we will first make a table we have written the given information in the first two columns now we will first find midpoint of each class interval and we know that midpoint is denoted by xi we know that midpoint is obtained by adding upper limit and lower limit and then dividing this by 2 so using this midpoint of class interval 0 200 is 0 plus 100 divided by 2 and this is equal to 50 midpoint of this class interval is 100 plus 200 by 2 and this is equal to 300 by 2 and 300 by 2 is 150 then we have 200 plus 300 divided by 2 and this is 250 then we have 300 plus 400 divided by 2 which is equal to 350 midpoint of this class interval is 400 plus 500 by 2 and this is equal to 450 then we have 500 plus 600 divided by 2 and this is equal to 550 then we have 600 plus 700 by 2 and this is equal to 650 and then we have 700 plus 800 by 2 and this is equal to 750 now we will find product of xi and fi in the first row fi is 4 and xi is 50 so we have 4 into 50 and 4 into 50 is 200 8 into 150 is 1200 9 into 250 is 2250 10 into 350 is 3500 7 into 450 is 3150 5 into 550 is 2750. 4 into 650 is 2600. 3 into 750 is 2250. Now we will find n. We know that n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n. Now here n is equal to 8, so we have summation i goes from 1 to 
एफ आई एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस एट प्लस नाइन प्लस टेन प्लस सेवन प्लस फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सो ऑन एडिंग ऑल दीज फ्रिक्वेंसीज वी गेट फिफ्टी नाउ वी विल फाइंड समेशन I goes from one to eight. F I X I. Now this is equal to two hundred plus twelve hundred plus two thousand two hundred fifty plus thirty five hundred plus three thousand one hundred fifty plus two thousand seven hundred fifty plus twenty six hundred plus Two thousand two hundred fifty, and this is equal to seventeen thousand nine hundred. We will calculate mean. We know that mean is equal to one by n into summation i goes from one to eight f i x i. By substituting values of n and summation i goes from one to eight f i x i, we get one by fifty into seventeen thousand nine hundred, and this is equal to three fifty eight. So mean of the given data is three hundred fifty eight. Now we are going to find x i minus x bar. In the first row, x i is 50, and we know that x y is equal to 358. So we have 50 minus 358, and 50 minus 358 is equal to minus 308. Then we have 150 minus 358, and 150 minus 358 is equal to minus 208. 250 minus 358 is minus 108. 350 minus 358 is minus 8. 450 minus 358 is 92. 550 minus 358 is 192. 650 minus 358 is 292. 750 minus 358 is 392. Now we will find mod of x i minus x bar. Absolute value of minus 308 is 308. Absolute value of minus 208 is 208. Absolute value of minus 108 is 108. Absolute value of minus 8 is 8, and absolute value of 92 192. 292 and 392 is 92, 192, 292, 292 292 292 and 392. We will find f i into mod x i minus x bar. In the first row, f i is 4 and mod x i minus x bar is 308. So we have 4 into 308 and 4 into 308 is 1232. Eight into two zero eight is one six six four. Nine into one zero eight is nine seventy two. N into eight is eighty. Seven into ninety two is six fifty four. Five into one ninety two is nine sixty. Four into two ninety two is one one six eight. Three into three ninety two is One one seven six. On adding all this, we get seven thousand eight hundred ninety six. So summation i goes from one to eight. F i into mod x i minus x bar is equal to seven thousand eight hundred ninety six. Now we will calculate mean deviation about me. We know that mean deviation about mean is equal to one by n into summation. I goes from one to eight. 
एफ आई इंटू मॉड एक्स आई माइनस एक्स पार एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फिफ्टी इंटू सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन फाइव सेवन पॉइंट नाइन टू एंड आर रिक्वायर्स आंसर इज वन फाइव सेवन पॉइंट नाइन टू So this completes the session. Bye and take care.